NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has located a nearby solar system with seven Earth-sized planets, three of which circle their parent star at the right distance for liquid surface water. Our EBC Washington Bureau correspondent goes to NASA for this exclusive interview. We are here at the NASA office in Washington, D.C., where NASA just announced discovery of seven potentially habitable planets. The record-breaking discovery of the greatest number of habitable zone planets found around a single star outside our solar system was revealed today. Associate Administrator of the Science Mission Directorate Thomas Zerbukin in a press conference confirms the existence of the Earth-like planets. Zerbukin said there are seven Earth-sized planets orbiting the nearby TRAPPIST-1 star, about 40 light years away, and that three of these planets are in the habitable zone where liquid water can pour on the surface, and with the right atmospheric conditions, there could be water on these planets. Astrophysics Director Paul Hertz said three of these planets, TRAPPIST-1e, 1F and 1G bear the most similarities to Earth. You said seven, but there are three that is in TRAPPIST-1, the TRAPPIST-1 system. What makes this three um, different or special? So uh, three of the planets are in the distance from their star where they get about the same amount of sunlight as the Earth gets from the sun so that liquid water could exist on their surfaces. Uh, the other four, depending on what their atmospheres are like, they could have oceans, they could have oceans under their surfaces. But these three would have water on their surfaces. Aside from uh, water and similarities in atmosphere, similarities to Earth, what are the requirements that would make life thrive, mm -hmm. human, human life? Right, so what we've learned on the Earth is that everywhere on the Earth where we have water, energy, and nutrients, life takes a hold and that could be here where we are of course but the bottom of the ocean the tops of mountains the inside the tops of the atmosphere in uh, thermal geysers I mean some of the weirdest places on earth has life if it has those three characteristics so in our search to understand whether there's life in the rest of the universe we're looking for places that have liquid water energy and nutrients and so the first thing is to find solid planets like the Earth, not like Jupiter, that are the right distance from their star so they might have water, liquid water on their surface. And three of the planets around TRAPPIST-1 definitely have that characteristic. The other four might have that characteristic. About 40 light years away from Earth, these newly discovered planets that are outside our solar system are said to be relatively close to us. But physically reaching them in our lifetime is still far from reality. Scientists, however, believe that this recent discovery has made this more possible for future generations. Sarah Seeger, professor of planetary science and physics of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, said that 20 years ago, her peers dismissed the work as stamp collecting. The fact that they are here today with seven planets, knowing their atmospheres may be studied in the future, is tremendous. Paul Hertz said this discovery just leads to more. I think this is just another big step. I think that next year we'll be having even more amazing discoveries. And after we launch the James Webb Space Telescope, which is um, many times more powerful than the Spitzer Space Telescope or even the Hubble Space Telescope, with that capability in space, we'll be making additional discoveries that I think will, will tell us even more about the possibility of life in the universe. In the coming year, NASA says there's more to look forward to as we get to know other systems like TRAPPIST-1. So I think that everybody should be really excited about the year 2018. Uh, in the first, next year, um, in the first half of the year, we'll be launching our next exoplanet hunting telescope, a telescope called TESS. And TESS will survey all the stars like TRAPPIST-1 in the sky, looking for more systems like TRAPPIST-1. So we'll find all the other systems that are just as exciting as TRAPPIST-1. And then 
at the end of 2018, the James Webb Space Telescope will launch, and this is the successor to Hubble. It's uh, got 10 times the size mirrors as Hubble's mirrors, much more powerful, and we'll be studying exoplanets and many other phenomena in the universe uh, with the James Webb, and we'll be learning all sorts of things then. NASA scientists here say that the question now left to ponder upon is not if we will find life on these other planets, but when. Reporting from the NASA office here in Washington, D.C., I am Eliza Gonzalez-Manglik-Mott, and I am one with 25.